In this video, we are going to do a transmission and receival of LoRa module using STM32. Make sure you have already installed STM32 Cube IDE, also open OCD. You, st you should have already done a simple blink sketch using Cube IDE. Now we come to the wiring diagram. Transmitter module. The LoRa module connected to STM32 coming from right to left. Ground is connected to ground. VCC connected to 3.3 volt. AUX connected nowhere. TXD connected to A10. RXD connected to A9. Next two pin M1 and M0 both connected to ground. As a sensor, I have used simple 10K, 10K potentiometer. Middle pin of the potentiometer connected to B1, both sides connected to one side connected to ground, other side connected to 3.3 volt. For the receiver, the LoRa module and STM32 connection are the same. And I have five LEDs, one side of LED connected to the STM32, A1, the next one is connected to A3, next one A5, A7 and B1. Other side of LED connected to ground through 220 ohm current limiting resistor. Now we come to the coding, open the cube IDE, put the part number STM32 F103C8, this one, click next and give a name, I give TX and click finish. Now it will take a uh, few seconds, about nearly one minute. Uh, sorry about the waiting, it's nearly done. And click the sys, click the debug serial wire. Click USART1, mode is asynchronous. In the parameter setting, board rate, we use 9000, 9600. ADC1, click ADC1, I used IN9, check the IN9, in the configuration, make sure the continuous conversion is enabled. That's it. And save. Yes. Yes. In the main.c file, go to user code begin 0. Yeah. I have two variables u int 16 t read value u int 8 T char to transmit. That's one. Now we go to user code begin two. Here yeah, we start the ADC. Hull a D C Hull A D C start first one.
now in the loop while loop i have copied some code this one it pulls for conversion in the read value from adc1 and the read value i divide by 800 to get 0 to 5 characters and for the characters i have add 48 to convert to characters and then transmit and have a small delay these are very small characters and uh, I have given all the code in the description. Go to the description in the video and there will be everything clear. Now we compile. I got some errors and uh, there is no semicolon. Uh, all good. Now we create an, another project for the receiver. F one zero three C eight. Let's see. Yeah, C eight TX. Click next. I give name R X and finish. It will take about one minute. And the USART one asynchronous as before and the baud rate 9600 as before and uh, sys serial via debug and the pin I use PA1 as output PA3 as output PA5 as output PA7 as the output, PB1 as the output, oh, sorry, PB1 as output. That's it. And we save. Yes. Yes. Now, in the main.c, user code 0, yeah, here, yeah. I have a variable u int 8 t received data. Yeah, that's one. Now, in the while loop, I have some code that's available in the description website. 
this one I copy it just paste it here what it does is it receives the data and put it to receive data and it checks for the value 0 and then it checks for 1 and checks for 2 like that when it is 0 all the LEDs are off when it's 1 the first LED is on when it's 2 second is on and so on when it's 5 the last LED is on and I give small delay and then we save and we compile Uh, all good now you use the debug or run method to upload uh, the transmitter code and receiver code to the uh, stm32 module now we increase slowly wait for a while decrease slowly wait for a while Increase very quickly, decrease very quickly. In the video description, I have given this web address. I have provided some information for you. If you go there, there is some additional information like where to buy these modules and things like that. Below, there is the wiring diagram. You can save and zoom and see. If you, give, if you go below, here is some uh, STM32 cube ID setting. Uh, below is the code. You can copy and paste like this. And uh, receiver module, diagram, setup, and the code. And some advanced setup here. Have a look. And uh, also, please like subscribe and share uh, as you wish. Thank you very much.